Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and the Restless spoilers on Monday, March 4, Phyllis Summers will show up at Society and argue that she needs to rent out the entire restaurant, but Abby Newman Abbott will immediately shoot down the plan but Phyllis will insist that Abby's restaurant is the one she wants, and she insists that it must be tonight. After this, Abby will wonder what Phyllis is, and that will irritate her, so Phyllis will withdraw the request. Phyllis will press Abby to allow her to rent out society once more after having a dream about a beautiful dinner in which Danny Romolotti wishes to prepare meals for her forever. If Abby pays her staff twice as much and doesn't make a mess, she will eventually agree to let Phyllis take the restaurant after her final reservation for the evening. Abby's wonderful news will make Phyllis very happy and appreciative. Christine Blair at Crimson Lights will be happy that she left Danny a message and hope he comes back to her soon. Nana Webster will believe it's critical to ignore Phyllis and concentrate just on Christine and Danny's connection. Christine's only hope is that Phyllis doesn't frighten Danny away so she can try her reverse psychology on him. Christine will be taken aback when Danny shows up and says that he is going on tour in a few weeks. Christine will question whether Danny really intends to give up on them and go away like that. Christine will confront Danny outside on the patio on the unworkable situation involving Phyllis, stating that he is the one who let her to get in the way of their relationship. After talking things out and almost kissing, Phyllis texts Danny to say they're all set for 10 o'clock p.m. tonight at Society. Danny will understand that Christine is correct and that Phyllis won't give up unless he stops her since he will be irritated. Danny will bring Christine in for a lip lock once he's certain she's the one he wants. When they return to Society, Abby is dubious of Phyllis's intentions while she seems thrilled about her big night with Danny. As Common Newman, Chelsea Lawson, Adam Newman, and Billy Abbott wait in the specialist's office, they will all use hand sanitizer. Since everyone showed up, Connor will fear that he's in danger, but Billy, Adam, and Chelsea will only want to assist him. Connor will meet with Dr. Alcott and go into a separate room with her after he consents to respond to the specialist's queries. Dr. Alcott will advise Connor to bring his mother since she prefers for him to speak with only one parent at this time. Though Adam will be tempted to disagree, in the end, he will comply with Dr. Alcott's instructions. Billy will caution Adam about his behavior while they are sitting in the waiting area, so that Connor won't notice the tension. Even though Adam will laugh at Dr. Abbott and his suggestions, they will wind up having a polite discussion about the advantages of treatment, Adam will inquire as to whether Billy had a breakdown because Billy received therapy for his gambling addiction and will make references to the moment he broke. Adam will remember how Billy published the expose on him a few years ago when Billy diverts the conversation from that topic. Adam should probably give Billy credit for helping him deal with his suppressed childhood memories. As they set aside their rivalry for a little while, Billy and Adam will really make a bit of progress. Next on Monday's Y and R, Dr. Alcott will encourage Commoner to talk about his persistently unsettling and trouble-concentrating figureful ideas. Connor acknowledges that counting is helpful, but math is difficult for him since he needs to deal with unlucky numbers that he dislikes. While placing items on the table in front of him, Connor will discuss how tidying and planning his room is another way he manages his nervousness. Dr. Alcott will receive a wealth of information that will help her diagnose the condition as Connor will believe that keeping the germs at bay is a positive thing. Dr. Alcott will then certify to Chelsea and Adam that Connor is exhibiting numerous of the common symptoms associated with OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder. Dr. Alcott will clarify that while there is no cure, she will provide Adam and Chelsea with all the information they need to create a plan for Connor. When Chelsea and Adam arrive, Billy will give Connor a fist bump and commend him on his bravery back in the waiting area. 
Adam and Chelsea will provide updates on Connor's OCD diagnosis since he will beg for explanations for what is happening to him. Connor will give them a group hug after Chelsea and Adam reassure him that he will receive therapy and that everything will be ok. At the conclusion of Monday's broadcast, there will also be a PSA about children's mental health. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that, although Connor has a long journey ahead of him, love and support will be abundant. Seth reverses Jordan's position, according to The Young and the Restless spoilers for Monday, March 4, meets Mamie Johnson, Amanda Sinclair, Summer Newman and Chance Chancellor look great. Aside from that, Phyllis Summers might be able to convince Danny Romolotti to have one last affair, but is this really it? Sneak peek, Seth's staring move from the young and the restless. Seth and Jordan will connect once more, according to Y and R spoilers for Monday, March 4. Although Jordan is unaware of it, Seth is aware that she is not Isabel and that Nikki Newman is not her friend. The details Seth had provided to Jordan up to this point were shared with Nikki. Jordan is currently asking Seth to continue their meetings and provide her with updates. Seth is seen at the glass lounge with Jordan in a preview clip. Seth becomes agitated when Jordan says something. Seth walks up to them both and says, go outside and call Nikki. With Seth by her side, Jordan wraps her coat about her. Then, in an attempt to call Nikki, Seth takes out his phone. Seth should go ahead and enjoy her reunion with Nikki, Jordan tells him to call his bluff. Summons teases for Y and R Sleek. It's expected that Chance and Summer will keep dating. Chance even confesses to Summer that he's craving something intense. Expect a little Summons passion because Summer is in the mood too. Phyllis Summers last outing in the young and the restless spoilers. Danny has made the decision to leave Gino City in order to embark on a tour, According to the Young and the Restless spoilers for Monday, March 4, Phyllis is taking advantage of the chance to get close and personal with Danny. Christine Blair, however, queries whether Danny is truly prepared to end their romance as soon as she learns that he is leaving town. If Christine learns of Phyllis' goodbye dinner plans, however, Danny's turmoil will intensify. As her admirers can see, Phyllis is searching for much more than simply a meal, Y and R teases for Monday, March 4. Adorers should also anticipate Amanda running into Mamie and Div in Hamilton. Though tough, Amanda treats Mamie with grace. Amanda explicitly states that she is committed to defeating Jill Abbott in this conflict. Thus, what is the significance of Amanda's curveball for Mamie's future and how will she handle it? On Monday, March 4, which plot line are you most anticipating seeing? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.